actually just one year after I was born, this Romanian tribe went to revolution. People from the Romanian tribe were sick of the ones who were leading the tribe because this is how we organize ourselves. We elect, we choose a few human beings, sometimes just one human being, that is there on top of the other human beings and takes decisions for the others. They revolted against this dictator of Romania. They had enough of corruption and uh, inequality and control because this dictator wanted to control their lives entirely. So they went to revolution and they captured this guy and his partner and they killed them. You know, the ultimate revenge. <laughs> They wanted to bring the new, the new system, a different kind of system where things will get better, they hoped. And they went into the streets and they were so happy, they were like cheering and screaming and crying. They said the new Romania is on the horizon. They said our lives will change tremendously from now on because we got rid of the bad guy, you know, the bad human being. We killed the bad human being. Let's bring something new to Romania. <laughs> Just two years after the revolution, Romanians went again to revolution because the new leader apparently was not satisfying enough for them. It apparently was still the same kind of human being, corrupted and uh, like all of other human beings who were leaders of tribes, lying and cheating. And the Romanians were not satisfied with the new leader that they themselves elected. In 1996, there was another big revolution in Romania. In 1999, yet another one, trying to overthrow all of these leaders that they elected. People became angrier and angrier at their leaders. After 8 years, Romania has again been on the road, putting all their hopes in a single man. In 2007, they had a big, big party because they said, now we are going to get rid of corruption and then made this kind of institution that will go after people who don't play fair and put them in prison and banish them. You know, and it was a big celebration and everybody was so happy that we finally, finally are going to get rid of those bastards. And yet, five years later, another big protest in Romania, trying to change the leader one more time. Guess what? After they changed so many leaders in 2017 was the biggest protest in Romania since the revolution. Trying again to change the leader of the tribe.
You see, people change leaders. It's almost like changing hats to become smarter. And they go crazy and fanatical about choosing the red hat or the blue hat. No, the red hat, but the blue hat. You know, but the green hat. What about the purple hat? And then they fight with each other which hat is better, you know. And finally, finally, they elect the blue hat. And then they change the green hat for the blue hat. And everybody's cheering up. Everybody's so happy. Like, yeah, finally, we changed the hat. And then just a few months after we changed the hat, they realized that nothing really changed. And then what? Then let's change it with another hat. Maybe the blue hat wasn't right for this head. Maybe we need a red one. Oh, what about the yellow one? That's a new one. Let's put the yellow one in. So that's what they do. They change hats all the time. But the game is the same. For the past thousands of years, it's the same game. United, we can and will overcome this season of darkness in America. And I promise you that I will not let you down. A government of the people by the people and for the people has not perished from the earth. This is your victory. It's the victory of a message that is conservative and is compassionate. You and I vowed to turn our country around with a strategy to meet our challenges and protect our values. Opportunity for all, responsibility from all, an American community of all Americans. When I said I want a kinder, gentler nation, I meant it, and I mean it. We want to bridge the generation gap. We want to bridge the gap between the races. We want to bring America together. America would be a place where each man could be proud to be himself. People know the Democratic Party is the People's Party, and the Republican Party is the party of special interest, and it always has been and always will be.